Memorial Day and racing go hand in hand. Even without the Indy 500 this weekend, there are plenty of virtual races across the country, including one 40 years in the making. Matt Lothrop has the story. This looks a bit like vandalism. Might as well use all this up. But it's actually markings four decades in the making. Call it the start for Omaha runner Mike Huggenberger's latest marathon, number 100. That's very important. Yeah, yeah, it's a milestone. And, you know, I, I just do it because it's a personal goal and I'm doing it for myself. And, um, you know, it's just, it's just there. It all dates back 40 years. Huggenberger still has the miles, the memories, and the medals, including the very first. Every person that runs a marathon, the first one after they get done, the very first thing they say is, I'm never doing that again. <laughs> you know? But one becomes two, and three turns into four. By number 14, he posted his fastest time. It was 246 in Omaha, which is about a 620 per mile effort. 35 years later, Huggenberger can still finish in about five hours. Pretty respectable considering he is 70 years old. You know, and I just don't have the desire to go out and beat myself to death like maybe I did when I was in my 30s and 40s. In that prime, he ran through more than a dozen states from Texas to California, Arizona to Colorado. There was joy in Australia with daughter Ashley waiting at the finish. There was also somber in New York City just two months after 9-11. And from the bridge, you could still see the, the t Twin Towers, the smoke coming up. The fires were still burning at that time. These marathons have also aligned with turns in life, like the first of six times he ran Boston. And I was going through some, some personal struggles at that time. Um, my first marriage was ending. I just felt it was my best marathon effort ever. Not my fastest, but, but my best. His last, came Saturday. I, I definitely wanted to have it, you know, symmetric, if you will, start in Lincoln, finish in Lincoln, 40 years apart. Instead, it's a virtual race on this abandoned railway. With homemade bibs and occasional stops for hidden water bottles, Huggenberger ran alongside his daughter, Lindsay. She was just six months old when this whole thing got started. It's going well. Near the end, friends and family gathered. And while the finish line began to fade, Huggenberger did not, running right into retirement. Hey! And after catching his breath, a moment of reflection, a tear that it's over, followed by a smile that it's over. Reporting alongside the Wabash Trace, Matt Lothrop, KETV News Watch 7 Sports.